Hi friends, it's Amy at Doki Doki Forest. Welcome. I'm so glad you are here. And this week, it's time for some serious gluing that's not serious at all. <laughs> We're going to have some fun and I am so excited to be gluing away this week. Now today we are going to do some gluing in my season's journal. This was a composition book that my son used for uh, math years ago. So this is an old math workbook. As you can see on the right there, we've got some evidence of the math that was done in here and he was going to just recycle this because he didn't need it anymore and I thought well let's transform it. What better way to transform an old math workbook than to fill it up and you know make some maybe beautiful but hopefully fun glue book pages. So these are going to be my spring or Easter pages. I know Easter already came and went, but it was way too fast for me. <laughs> How did it come and go already and everything is still pretty much brown outside, at least around here? I don't know. That's just how it is though. But um, so these are the images that I harvested in my previous video with care over at my take at the lake. So if you missed those videos of us harvesting two magazines together, then I will link them down below and you may be interested in checking those out and then coming back over to see this so that way you can see, you know, what images we both had and here's what we're doing with them. And this is all part of our hashtag using the same images which is an open collab. Anybody can join in. If you had those magazines and you harvested the same images, then you can glue along with us. And what we do is we harvest the magazines together. Then separately, we make pages, which is the step that I'm on now. And then we post our videos and reveal what we created and it's a fun experiment to see how differently we all create, even if we're given the same exact images to start with. Or who knows, maybe we'll make all the same pages and that's, you know, interesting as well. So it's really fun. Now, what if you don't have these magazines, but you wanna play along? That's where we have you covered because we both made digital kits that are available for free for you to download and print out they are over on our Patreon pages. So you can head over to mine, download and print, then head over to Cares, download and print, and that will be a separate video. So this video is using the magazine images we harvested. And then after this, we will create and post what we did with the digital images. So if you wanna play along, you still have time. And I'm probably gonna start playing around and making my digital pages today and the rest of this week. So it's never too late though. You can do it anytime. And um, yeah, so I think that gets all of the business out of the way. Now you know what I'm doing and you know you can join in and play along and have some fun. And honestly, when I was first starting these pages, I didn't glue a whole lot on. I did some, I feel like I started to find my stride with these pages around here. <laughs> For some reason, it was taking me a bit to kind of audition all the images and figure out what I was doing. I really love that dish image in the background. The color is so pretty. So I decided that there was going to be an Easter party. And so the owner of the home wants to get everything looking nice and clean and ready for company. And surprisingly, we didn't find a whole lot of Easter images in the magazines that we harvested. So we found a lot of spring cleaning images. We found a few Easter images. The only Easter bunny we found was a little teeny tiny one. 
and uh, just a little a plush one and then we found some butterfly images and um, not even a lot of people either I think there was only one person that we harvested which Kara said she may not wind up using she just wanted the dog but I said I thought I was probably going to use both I do like to have a couple of people on my pages here and there or if I don't have any people then I do like to have animals I like to have some sort of characters on the pages and as you can see I just ripped that image I don't know what was going on with me but I think I ripped almost every picture I was putting on so just so you know if you are gluing and you are ripping images just like me don't worry about it just keep going you know when you put it on there like look at that you kind of can't even see it I mean it's there and if you look at it in person can you notice it well probably but I don't think it's distracting so the power of glue you know don't worry if you rip images sometimes my fingers get sticky like when I'm holding the image and then when I go to press the glue down I pull on the image a little bit and then that rips it um you know, it just, it just happens. It's just one of the, um, you know, hazards of glue booking. You know, we rip images sometimes, but I just want you to know, don't feel like you ruined the image or you can't use the image and don't get discouraged because, you know, just keep going. It's just for fun. And chances are the glue will make it look pretty good once you get it down on the page. So here we are, we have the house getting ready. They want to, you know, make it nice and fresh inside and clean and, you know, get those windows open, get the flowers out. They are enjoying a nice green springtime. I'm not enjoying those days yet, but I know they're coming. Actually, I mean, we're supposed to get snow this week, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, New England is just crazy we just have weather that's all over the place it can be like it was like warm the other day we were outside and playing you know out in the yard and going out and uh you know now snow so that's just that's just how it is just when i think i can put away my winter coat you know i i'm like nope i'm gonna leave it on the hook still need it <laughs> Now, just so you know, at the end of this video, I will go through the pages slowly and show you each one. So I have this sped up at double speed. Honestly, this whole video with all of my footage was three hours long. So that's how much time I was gluing and thinking and looking at everything. And you know how you just have to kind of look at the page and sit with it and see if you like it. and. Uh, you know, kind of see if you've got that like aha moment where you want to glue something. So three hours. And then I'm like, okay, well, let's take that three hours and try to get it to like a half hour. <laughs> let's not make this a three hour set. Imagine if I did a live, like a three hour live of just glue booking. I don't know. That would be a long, long time for people to hang out with me while I'm just quiet and staring at pages. <laughs> I think it's like so amazing when people can go live and chat while they're crafting and, you know, kind of keep up with what people are saying and focus. And I don't know, that's that's tricky. But I don't know, Karen and I have talked about perhaps doing our next harvest live because um, it would be fun, though. It would be fun. I think if we did it together, it would be easier to sort of keep up with things and you've got someone to chat with, you know, and um, the two of us could check and see if anybody's talking or if, if anyone's even there. <laughs> so we, we've, we've thought about it. We've thought about it. Spring clean it like a pro. Are you spring cleaning your house? Do you get like spring cleaning fever and you just want to go around and declutter and get rid of things and open the windows and let the fresh air in? I feel like that. I definitely want to go through. I find when the weather is bright and sunny, I'm like motivated and I want to do things. And then when it's kind of overcast, like today is overcast and gray, then it's like, 
well, maybe I'll do all that decluttering tomorrow. Maybe today I'll just do some gluing. <laughs> and look at those sweet pups. I fussy cut those little pups out. They're just so, I feel like they're so expressive. They just have such sweet faces. And now I'm on some more cleaning pages here. And I was thinking it would be kind of funny if the dogs were like, you know, hey, you don't have to wash dishes. We could just lick them clean. You know, we are like your dishwashers, your, you know, environmentally friendly dishwashers. And we do it for free. We're just gonna like lick the plates, you know. So I was thinking that at first, but then I wound up just going with, you know, the person who's cleaning the house, you know, they are just going not crazy, but, you know, kind of. They've got the spring fever. They're going around. They're scrubbing things down. They're getting it cleaned up, doing dishes. And then they have a look at the dog and they're like, hmm, you know what? You could use a little scrubbing up as well. We can't have you in the house, you know, stinky and <laughs> muddy or, you know, whatever, and have company over. So we're going to have to get you in the bath as well. And the dog's like, get away. Like, look at that dog's face. Doesn't it kind of look like it's like, um, no. So the rubber glove is approaching with the sponge ready to clean the dog. And the dog is like not in the mood. And then I'm just, you know, a lot of times I'm trying to put images on so I can cover up the words like, that initial dish background had like a lot of text on it. But I have these other two images of washing dishes or dirty dishes and then washing dishes. So they were just the right size to cover up the text that was on the original background. And I have a hard time kind of gluing as I go. As you can see, I tend to kind of work out my pages first before I commit them to glue. So I kind of play around, move things around, and then I glue my background on eventually. But a lot of times I don't even glue the background on until I figured out the whole page. So I think it would be kind of a fun thing. I've probably mentioned this before, but I want to have a glue book where I just glue backgrounds. You know, don't build the whole page, just glue backgrounds, and then go back in later and build the page, you know, just, just for fun. I want to just try like different ways of doing things because I like this method, like this works for me, but I think it would be fun too to just have like a wild gluing session, you know, like not thinking about placement and stuff, you know, and, and I talk about that before. And, you know, like I said, I really like this process as well. This is fun for me to work out pages and see if there's stories and stuff, but there's something to be said for just having wild abandon and gluing as well. And I have a few other glue books I am working in currently. So this is my Seasons glue book, as I mentioned. And my Colors glue book is pretty much done. Um, I think there's a little more space for some more. I mean, there's a lot of space if I have little images. But there's still room for some more items in there. And then I might do a flip through of the final, the final results. And um, then what else do I have? I have my like mindfulness, like positivity journal that's sort of like an art journal, glue book, you know, a little bit of everything. And then I have some new ideas for some new glue books that I will be setting up either this week or next, probably. So if you are into glue booking, you may be interested in those. I was like finishing up some of my January projects. So that's kind of why I got away from glue booking for a little bit. I really wanted to finish my two journals. Well, actually, one of them was glue booking. It was glue book January. <laughs> so it was glue booking, but you know, it was a, a prompt based glue book and it was super fun. So I finished that and then I had junk journal January and I finished that the end of March. So now that I feel like I can check those two things off in my mind, I feel like, okay, ready to dive in and begin some new things or continue with some 
other projects that I maybe started and then put aside. So who knows what's next? There's always a lot of ideas. You know, I write down a lot of ideas and I'm sure we all, you know, you guys I'm sure have a lot of ideas too. I always hear in the comments how many different fun like journals or glue books or projects that you all are working on and I love that. So let me know if you are gluing along with me now or working in an art journal or anything, let me know what you are up to. Are you doing like a seasons? Are you doing the on mass style glue book or are you doing an alphabet glue book? I think that might be that might be one I'm going to work on this week. I don't know if I'm going to do the alphabet, the en masse. I kind of want to do both. En masse, right, I think. Why am I saying en masse? In masse, whatever. <laughs> All right, we've got some food now. I mean, you can't have a party and not have food, right? I mean, you can, but your guests probably won't be too happy with that. So we're going to get some food out here. And I love these little mugs. They're so cute. I want to say teacups, but they look like little mugs. But they're kind of dainty with the like gold handles. We've got some coffee here. So I'm like, all right, let me grab that. I'm trying to grab anything that has food and put it all together. So that way I can see how I can build a page. And this Starbucks, these blends look really good. Oh my gosh. I was like, I know those are from 2023, but I wonder if they still have them. And I guess I decided to go with drinks first. You know, give your guests drinks first and food after. That's the proper order, right? <laughs> so we'll get some drinks going. And what is going on? I feel like, haven't I had a party theme for pretty much every page in the season's glue book i'm not even sure this is a season's glue book but now i'm thinking it's like a seasonal party glue book <laughs> and that's just because we tend to find a lot of I was going to say we find a lot of food images but honestly like i even had a bird party and there were like no food images besides like some bird seeds so i don't know there's just something about this book when i start gluing in here apparently it's all about parties and don't worry at the end these drinks look amazing. And at the end, I will slow down and I'll show you the recipes for these. So that way, if you want to take a screenshot of any of these, feel free. You know, Karen and I were talking about how we really want to try these like carrot mimosas. You know, I was like, oh man, we should have had those while we were harvesting. So maybe we should do that next time if we do like a harvest together. We need to look through the magazines and find some sort of a seasonal drink, you know, and have that as we're harvesting. What do you think? So next would be summer. So let me know if you have a summer drink that you would recommend. And it can just be like lemonade. It can just be like a flavored lemonade. It doesn't have to be, you know, a drink drink. It can be anything. So we've got vibrant veggies. Create vibrant veggies with your carrot mimosa, right? I mean, that's pretty vibrant. You get a nice sparkling carrot or carrot juice. That's the ingredient I didn't have for these um, carrot mimosas. I, I didn't have carrot juice. I do have carrots, though. So I could juice them, as Care was saying. I could I could do that. These little ice pops look really good too. Everything looks good. There's just something cool about, I'm always attracted to like these pictures that have these drinks and just seeing how amazing they make them look. You know, they each one has to have like a particular glass and they have different colors and then they have the garnishes and sometimes a little topping on top. And I mean, it's just, they're really beautiful. Even if the drink itself is disgusting or, you know, you don't want to drink it, it's like they're just so pretty to look at. And you can always make them non-alcoholic as well. So you certainly don't have to do exactly what they're doing. You can custom tailor it however you would like. 
Now, what about that popsicle, that like ice pop in a, in a cup? I can't remember what's happening there. Is the ice pop melting into that drink or did they make an ice pop out of the drink? I don't know because I didn't really read. We just harvested, but didn't really read the articles. But I am leaving the recipes with these drinks because I think it's kind of fun to have those in the book. So somebody's flipping through, you know, maybe next year, if I'm ahead of the game, I can flip through this book and I will look at these spring pages, you know, before spring and I'll be like, oh yes, carrot mimosa, gotta do that. All right, so now that all the guests have had their drinks, they're all settled in, now I guess we'll give them some food, right? And we've got the egg decorations out. And there are the butterfly cookies. So they have some butterfly cookies. They've got butterfly chocolates on the cups on the left side there. But there's also an open window. And so maybe butterflies are coming in. And then we have this adorable bulldog butterfly. And I really loved the way they looked sitting on that frosting flower on the cake. So I wanted to cut off the bottom of the cake picture and then glue it so it's low enough on the page that I can get the dog to sit on top. And then I figured I could take the bit that I cut off the bottom and add it to the top of the page to make a little more background going all the way up and then the pup could fit. Only the pup still didn't fit because the little antenna on the headband, the butterfly headband, were going off the page. So after moving this little character around, I decided to put them at the bottom there. And now I'm just trying to figure out how do I cover up that edible flowers on the left there? Because I want to cover up that text. And because we had all kinds of different butterflies, I thought it would be kind of interesting if there were butterfly foods and drinks and things being served at the party. But between the open window, the butterflies outside, and the butterfly decorations and cakes and cookies and, you know, even the dogs dressed up as a butterfly... You know, maybe the guests started getting confused what was a real butterfly and what was food. You know, they've had a few of those drinks and they're getting a little bit muddled now where they're like, oh my gosh, look at these beautiful butterflies. And, you know, they're just the cookies on the plate or they're like, you know, they, they're looking at their cup and seeing that chocolate butterfly perched there and, you know, they're thinking it's a real butterfly and... You know, maybe they're even seeing these strange cookie butterflies flying around the room. So anyway, I just thought it would be kind of silly to have this like moment where the guests were confused between what were real butterflies, which ones can they eat, which ones are real, you know, and just this sort of confusion. And I put dig into spring over there on the left. It covers up the text that was there. And I figure, you know, everyone's digging into their spring foods that are being served. And those cookies there, those butterfly cookies. Now, the marbling is a really pretty effect on the icing, but I can't help but think, and I know I mentioned this in our harvesting video, but the more I look at them, the more I feel like they look like meat, some kind of a marbled meat, like they're just kind of strange to me. I think if I marbled them, I maybe would choose another color to put in there. So that way they looked more rainbowy, or even if they were like blue or yellow, they wouldn't have that look. But I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of can't help but see like, you know, meat butterflies. <laughs> Not not really appealing. Well, maybe they are appealing. Maybe there are meat butterflies being served. You know, there could be like some ground beef, you know, butterfly shaped hamburgers going on the grill. I don't know what's going on at this party. And then this um, Starbucks packaging has butterflies on it as well. So I figured I'll add that to the page 
and I'm adding almost all of my butterfly images or a lot of them on this page just in a whole flurry of you know what's real and what isn't I mean it's all real but you know like I was saying the guests are not sure you know can I eat this or is this a real butterfly <laughs> and then I'm just covering up as much of the page as I can and I ripped that little wing I ripped something on every page <laughs> even if I don't show it on camera um you know, I had to edit a lot out, a lot of time where I'm just moving images around and thinking and considering and, you know, in order to get this to a manageable length. So, um, yeah, there were many rips and many times where I was trimming the edge, you know, to clean up the page or I like, cut off too much. And, you know, there's just, just all kinds of things that happen. So that page is pretty much you know, covered. And then I just had a little bit of flower there that was from that Starbucks ad. So I figured I'd pop that at the bottom. And I feel like I still need a little something. And I have these butterflies, which I like how they cover up that hard edge at the top where I combined the bottom of that tablecloth and put it on the top. And there was like a hard edge so when I add these butterflies, now it kind of all flows together between that and the dig into spring. It makes it kind of, you know, flow. At least to my eye, it looks better than to have the sharp edges. And I still have this butterfly. I was going to put this butterfly on the page before, but I decided that I would have the butterfly kind of be a character over here. These are the last two pages. So I still had some egg and food pictures. I still have a pup left here by himself. And then I have the coffee. So I'm like, all right, well, let me get these food things together, you know, and then I'll put, I've got like some flowers and the butterfly and, you know, I'm just kind of figuring out. These are my last big images anyway. I still have some small ones left, but these are like the last of the large ones. So I'm like, all right, I still have enough to make two pretty full pages. So then I was thinking like, maybe in all this butterfly chaos at the party, these dogs and the butterfly are all like, what is up with these humans? We got to get them some coffee pronto. Get them some coffee, you know, maybe get them some bread. You know, let's, let's get them so that they're thinking straight again. <laughs> and I was thinking this girl's like snuggling her puppies and she's like, oh, I love you so much. And, you know, she's thinking about, you know, how they're like her children. She loves them. And she does actually really love them. But I was thinking she's going like over the top because, you know, she's had too many carrot mimosas. So she's she's like, I love you so much and you're the best. And, you know, it's one of those times where it's just a little too much, you know, like when somebody comes up to you at a party and, you know, they've had a little too much. They've been a little overserved, and they're like, I love you. And you're just like, oh, OK. <laughs> The dogs are kind of like that. They can tell it's like, you know, she does really love them, but it's just a little, a little uh, over the top, I guess. And as I glued down these vases with the beautiful flowers, I realized, well, these vases are going to be covered up. So I can rip that off and try to use that part of the image. I was actually going to rip off both vases, but only one ripped off, so... I figure I can put that somewhere else. I didn't want to waste the image and just have it hiding under there. And then we will get our little butterfly on here who can't believe that these humans can't tell the difference between a real fluttering butterfly and the chocolate ones on their mugs. <laughs> and then we need to have the, oh yes, here is the lady is thinking about how the dogs are like her babies so we have this little picture which I ripped I did rip it and you know just glued it right on there anyway and I find these corners always need a little extra glue 
you know, I always think I put enough glue on when I'm doing this and I always need a little bit more. And then we have the pup and I really liked having the butterfly look like it was landing on the pup's head. I thought that was cute. So they're friends and they're both like humans. Am I right? <laughs> and here's that vase. And we'll give it some little flowers. That was a little flower left over from the cover of one of the magazines. And now I just have some images left over that I want to use up. I've got some rubber duckies. I have some words. And I'm trying to look around because I'm like, I didn't really glue too much on these two pages. So I went back with the smaller pieces I have left. And now I'm just trying to add a little something because the thing is I really liked these full page ads so I don't want to cover them up but I can certainly add these little ducks to make like a little scene and then that way I've done something and you can still see all those beautiful cookies and then on the left I have the pup going hello and that yellow M&M is like yeah he got so spooked by it he spilled all of his uh his eggs couple more little pictures here some pictures of eggs so I figured I'll put them on the page with those eggs and then I had another little Starbucks package so I'm adding that there a little Easter basket for the pup and then I had these headphones left over from the rubber ducky and I decided they would just look funny on the moon <laughs> little moon up there what is the moon doing the moon's like just sleep it off humans just sleep it off you'll be fine in the morning And that's the tale of the Easter party. So here we go. My pages are complete. So now I will bring you in close so you can see in real time, not sped up, the final pages. And I had a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun making these pages. I'm always excited to get everything in the glue book. Look at those nests. Don't those look so cool? I just love that. I've never made eggs like that. I mean, nests like that. <laughs> Let's Easter together. That was cute. I didn't want to cover that up, but I thought adding the little pup, you know, just kind of popping out there. I had some larger images I almost covered that up with, but then I really liked the way you could see that it was like an eggshell cracking, so... And then over here, I also added, you can see that little QR code with the little rubber ducky, and that's the little cookbook. So this rubber ducky can make those awesome looking cookies. Actually, I'd like to make those cookies too. They look really festive and also delicious. And then for the spring cleaning, I, I don't think I showed this, but I, there was a little bucket, a little cleaning bucket next to the birdhouse. And I figured even the birds are doing a little spring cleaning and cleaning out, making sure everything is all ready for babies. I know it's just a bird feeder, not a birdhouse, but I'm still pretending it's a birdhouse, bird feeder combo. <laughs> and on these pages, we are just getting everything scrubby dubby clean. And the dog is also included in the cleaning, the spring cleaning much to their chagrin and I love that sink so beautiful nice flowers so nice and bright and then here we have our drinks so if you are looking for some springy sort of inspiration then here you go you can take a screenshot of those selections and then I will also hold up the carrot mimosa recipe so you can grab that as well. That's one thing about these magazines. They tend to have a lot of really good recipes. You know, food recipes, drink recipes, very creative. Like, look at that cake. I love that cake. The flower petals on top. I'm not going to make that cake, but it is gorgeous. And look at that sweet pup. Little basket of eggs. The one little plush bunny, teeny tiny in that basket. And then the butterfly effect. 
of one butterfly flutters its wings and suddenly chocolate butterflies seem to be springing to life and meat cookie butterflies and all kinds of butterflies and the real butterflies are just you know so disappointed how do we not know the difference really and sweet pups who've had a long day as their humans have been cleaning and hosting parties and all they want is to just snuggle down now and they're hoping that perhaps they will get a nice little bite of toast or egg and that does it for these pages next up i will be doing the digital kit pages so i just want to remind you that if you have not downloaded and printed yours here's a sneak peek at the ones i am offering they are absolutely free print them out and join in the fun info down below thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you again soon